Hello guys, welcome back. Today's tutorial is just going to be a practice session where we're going to do a follow-up to our last tutorial on union, negate, and separate. So in our prior tutorial, we learned about union, negate, and separate and how they work and stuff like that. Today, we're just going to practice using those three options or maybe two of those options. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a 3D object. I'm gonna build a bowl. So to build a bowl, I'm gonna start with a sphere and I'm gonna scale it. You can change the color of it if you like. I'm gonna make it black. And let's rename it to bowl. Now I'm gonna do control D to duplicate the bowl. So now I have two bowls. Let's rename this to bowl 2. And I'm going to make it red. So there's my bowl 2. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to move my bowl 2 slightly above the original bowl. And now with my bowl 2 selected, I'm going to go up here and click on the gate. So I'm going to turn my bowl 2 into a negative part. And if you want more details on how all these work, please refer to our prior lesson. We, uh, we explain it in more details. All right, so now my bold 2 is the negative part. I'm going to select the bold 2, the negative part, and the bold together. I'm going to union them together. And there it is. I have a bold. Let me rename this union to bold. And we're just going to put it aside over here somewhere. Now, our next object is going to be a pipe. So we're going to add a cylindrical part. And same as before, I'm going to scale it. I'm going to press shift and scale. Let's make it really big. I'm going to move it over here. Let me move back a little bit. I'm going to change the color of my pipe. What color should I pick? Maybe this color is fine. I'm going to rename this part to pipe. And again, I'm going to do control D to duplicate it. So for the inside of my pipe, I want to change the color maybe to yellow. So this is my second pipe, it's yellow, and it's going to be the inside of the, the, the original pipe. And we, we want to scale it down a bit, so I'm going to press shift again, and I'm going to shrink it down just a little bit. We're going to use that pipe to hollow out the original pipe, and now I want to make it longer. So again, I'm going to press control. And I'm going to pull the circle so that it extends in both directions. And now with my yellow pipe, I didn't rename this, but I, I know it's the, the inner pipe because it's yellow. So with the inner pipe selected, you're going to go up here and click on negate. And now we're going to select the negative part, which is the yellow pipe and the original pipe. Press control, select the pipe, both of them, click on union. And now we have a pipe. And if I look inside the pipe, you're going to see it's hollow and it's yellow. Let's now rename this union to pipe. And we're going to move it to this side. For our final 3D object we're going to build today, we're going to build a cobblestone arch. So to start, I'm going to add a block. Let me scale it. I'm going to scale it this way. And I'm going to scale it up. I think that's good enough. Again, it's going to be a cobblestone arch. Uh, first thing we want to do, we want to anchor it. And I'm going to rename this to cobblestone arch. I'm going to change the brick color of it to this color, bright yellow. And we're going to change the material to cobblestone. 
now I, I need to build a doorway in the middle here so I need to hollow out the middle so to do that I'm gonna add another part or maybe you know even better instead of adding another part I'm gonna replicate this part so with my cobblestone arch selected I'm gonna do a control D to duplicate it and let's rename this to number two let me uh, set the color for the uh, number two so it's gonna be the color for the inside of the arch we're gonna pick like a light lighter color for the inside and now with the number two selected I'm gonna scale it down a little bit so I'm gonna bring it down to here or maybe all the way down to here like halfway about halfway and now I'm gonna press control and I'm gonna bring the side I'm gonna make it narrow more narrow I think that's good enough so that so that's gonna be the bottom of the doorway and now I'm gonna replicate the uh, cobblestone arch 2 so I'm gonna do another control D to duplicate it and this one I'm gonna go and this one is gonna be the number three so it's gonna be the top of the arch and I'm gonna go with the uh, number three selected I'm gonna go to the uh, properties window we, we want to look for shape and we're gonna change the shape of that so right now it's a block I want to change it to a ball now with the number three selected I'm gonna bring the ball up so I'm gonna click on move and I'm gonna move it up so this is gonna be the top of my doorway now we're gonna select both the number two and number three because those are gonna be our negative parts they they are gonna hollow out the entrance of the arch right the doorway so with the number two and number three selected we're gonna go up here and click on negate now we have two negative parts together we're gonna select those two with the cobblestone arch we're selecting all three we're gonna click on union and there is the doorway let me now rename this to cobblestone arch and I'm gonna move it somewhere over there further away let me move this one over here and let's play and take a look so here's the bowl that we built I'm gonna jump in it this bowl is not anchored so it can move around I can kick it I can be in it because it's hollow next thing we're gonna look at we're gonna look at the uh, the pipe I hope I made it big enough for me to run through you can see all the way through it to the other side and I am running through the pipe oh man I, I got stuck in there for a while and then we're gonna go and check out the arch there's the arch over there and let's go through it and there it is everyone that's how you build 3d objects 3d models in your roblox games thank you all for watching and we will see you again soon take care